We're back with another edition of To Read or Not To Read. That is the question. As you all know, it is Black History Month, and this week I want to illustrate and highlight some of the books from our collection that show off a lot of our trailblazing African American women in our history. I'm sure all of you have heard about Malcolm X, Martin Luther King Jr., Frederick Douglass, but what about Bessie Blount Griffin or Charity Adams? Perhaps Sojourner Truth or Dorothy Vaughn, Fannie Lou Hamer? If you haven't heard of some of these women, I suggest that you come and stop by our library and check out some of these books today that I'm going to tell you about. First up, we have Let It Shine, Stories of Black Women Freedom Fighters by Andrea Davis Pinky, illustrated by Stephen Alcorn. It's a juvenile book, so it'll be in our collection upstairs. And it's a collection of short stories about black women freedom fighters, uh, women such as Fannie Lou Hamer, who I mentioned earlier, who not only fought to register to vote and struggled, but then again fought to vote once she was a registered voter. And so her short story is in here. And then also Sojourner Truth, who was born into slavery and devoted the rest of her life to fighting for a seat at the table as not only an African-American, but also an African-American woman. So I highly, highly, highly suggest that you check this out. It is in our juvenile collection, but it's a great read for any reader. Next up, I wanna highlight Think Big Little One by, and excuse me if I'm pronouncing this wrong, Vashti Harrison. It is a kid's board book. It'll be upstairs in our collection as well. Um, it's a great empowering read, especially for those female young readers. It's about a bunch of women from varying different backgrounds and demographics. And this one has a story about Bessie Blount Griffin, who was a physical therapist, an inventor, and a scientist who after World War II took on the hardships um, trying to help out thousands of soldiers who were in need of physical therapy. And she used her innovative and creative mind to think of different ways to create um, some tools that might help them on the, the path to recovery. So it's a great book um, highlighting a bunch of different women in history. It's a very short, easy read. And again, you can find this one upstairs. The third book I'd like to highlight from our collection is Hidden Figures by Margot Lee Shetterly. And there are so many different ways that you can get your hands on um, either the book or the DVD in our collection or our consortium. We have it downstairs in our nonfiction history section. We have a YA version upstairs. We also have a juvenile version, the video recording, the audiobook is in our consortium. So, so many ways that you can watch or listen to this. If you haven't already seen it, it's incredible. It's about four African-American trailblazing women in our history that worked for NASA and helped crunch the numbers behind the scenes to launch um, launch rockets into space, which is pretty incredible. Um, so these are the story, or this is the um, true story about Dorothy Vaughn, Mary Jackson, Katherine Johnson, and Christine Darden. Highly, highly, highly suggest that you check this out if you haven't already seen it or read it. The final book I wanna highlight today is Standing Up Against Tape by Mary Cronk Farrell. And this book talks about Charity Adams and other African-American women who enlisted in the Women's Army Auxiliary Corps in World War II. Um, they fought racial prejudices and discriminations and did most of them did jobs that had never been done by women before, especially in the military. And at the end of the war, um, Charity Adams became the highest ranking female in the Army, which is pretty incredible. The books that I selected today just talk about a few of the many women um, African-American women in our history that have done incredible, incredible things. So I highly suggest that you stop by and check some out today. And also, don't forget to check out our Overdrive and Libby apps. We'll see you next week on To Read or Not To Read. That is the question.